Welcome guys to this new tutorial and oh, <laughs> look at this boop, boop, boop. Um, Before we're gonna start I actually want to show you something that I've been working on for quite a while I have my own website here and I sell courses on here of course of course of course but I have compiled all these courses together in one bundle which is called the monthly program and if you feel like you want to support me I think this is the best way it is around $8 without taxes because every country has a different tax system. So um, yeah, $8 without taxes and then the taxes go on there. You get all of the courses that I've created, which is, I don't even know how many, like 25 or more. And they are very into depth. I have sections on them. They are hours long. Like you really have more than 300 hours, I think, of learning material if you want to. And um, yes, this is one of the best way to actually support me and I really want to get the quality of my videos better and better because um, yes we just gotta improve right and I hope you guys um, agree with that and um, yeah because let me show you my microphone for right now <laughs> this is my microphone so we have a um, yeah a small little stand that I got for my birthday uh, with a pop filter because this microphone yeah this doesn't really work without a good pop filter this microphone was like 50 bucks um, it does the work, but I gotta also put a sock on here. here. Because otherwise you can hear me typing and clicking. Um, also, I have a nice book underneath, which is uh, Kevin Hart. Not sure if it's any good, but uh, it for sure works for my setup. Because if you click too hard on my, uh, my keys down here, you will see that, uh, yes, you will hear it in the microphone. And that is also why I have this head down here, because otherwise you will also hear it. Um, as well as I might want to upgrade my whole computer, because I think it's already eight, 8 or 9 years, maybe even 10 years old. And it's getting quite slow, especially with the animation that I did right here, which we're going to create right now. Um, but yeah. I know everyone is dealing a little bit with the Rona, and if you cannot afford it, please don't. You don't have to feel bad or anything, but if you can spend the money and if you want to really learn some extra stuff, which goes more into depth, then um, yeah, I will hope to see you guys here. So let's go on to the tutorial, and I'll see you guys there. Welcome to this new tutorial, and we are going to create this animation, what you can see right here. And it's quite simple. I will not show you how to create the glass or whatever. I'm really going into the fluid simulation. Let's first talk about the animation. If you look here, I have a website which is mixamo.com. It is from Adobe and you can just sign up for free. The cool thing about this website is you can choose your characters. In this case, I want to choose a character which just has one solid mesh as a character. Um, so I chose the mannequin, it's just one solid mesh and that just works a bit better with the fluid simulation. Then you can choose an animation. You can see that there are different um, yeah, looking characters, but every animation shown here will be applied to the character that is placed on your screen. I chose house dancing for my video, but if you just click one which you think is cool, you can just choose that and you can start to download this animation. If you download it, you will get it as an FBX file. Let's go into Blender. Here we have a new Blender scene and we are actually keeping the default cube. Go to File, Import and we are going to import our FBX which we have just downloaded. So as I said before, I chose house dancing but please try something else. I'm curious to see what, the, what you guys come up with. But you just click it and import FBX. This will take a little while, but it will import your animation. And here we can see it. So now, if you play your animation, you can see that, yeah, we have every keyframe here and it will just keep playing your animation. Very, very cool. So now we want our fluid simulation here. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to select this cube and I'll make it a bit bigger. This cube is going to be our domain. What does this mean? Well. A fluid simulation is quite an expensive thing for your computer to actually calculate. And with this domain, you choose a certain area, which is this area right here. And inside here will be your simulation. So this way you don't have to calculate everything in the scene, only this little part in here. So 
we need to of course put it in its place I'll put it around here and then we can select our cube go here into your physics and we can choose a fluid as I said before the fluid type is going to be domain now as you see here the domain type is gas but we actually want a liquid so you can change to liquid and you can see that we can't really see through here anymore that is okay for right now I'm just going to select toggle x-ray and we can see through it now I want to select this little guy here and I also want to make this a fluid this type is actually going to be a flow so flow is essentially the liquid and um, yeah the domain is where the liquid it will be inside if you play this you can see that nothing is happening this is because the flow type is smoke and we want a liquid so let's play it again and here we can see that our liquid is actually yeah doing its job so this is the liquid these particles and very very cool but I want this liquid to be a mesh so select your domain and here we have a little extra option here which is mesh so now if we play it you can see that not only do we have these little particles but we actually have a mesh simulating our liquid the liquid um, doesn't keep flowing and that is because if you click on this little mannequin here you can see that the flow behavior is geometry the geometry means that whatever you have selected this geometry will be seen as a liquid you can see that our geometry is just a liquid right now and only this little part here will actually become liquid but we want a constant flow how do we do this well flow behavior we're gonna do inflow so now if you replay it you can see nothing why is that I think sometimes it takes a little while to actually uh, change from flow behavior but what helps for me is if I select um, this mesh again like our domain and I'll just put this to it's resumable for some reason changing something here it doesn't have to be this option but changing something in these options will just kind of make it recalculate and now it is a yeah the constant flow that we want right so you can see that it's not only the geometry but now this geometry will keep flowing out uh, the liquid very very cool this is essentially it but if you look back at my video you probably saw that the bottle was getting filled up and here we only have a weird cube which is essentially the domain right so how do we do this it is very very simple if we just create a um, UV sphere and I'm just going to select this top bit and then delete uh, that part and make this solid so I'm just going to add modifiers and solidify I'll make this solid you will see that I can also apply a fluid to this instead of the type being domain or flow this is going to be an effector so this model has an effect on the fluid effector type collision is great because we want our fluid to collide with this model so let me put it into its place here I want it kinda round here this will be good and now what we want to do is we want to select our domain again and then for some reason I will just do is resumable on or off and now if we play it you will see that this ball actually has an effect on the fluid so you can see that here it starts to move and fill up the ball with these kinds of factors you gotta be a bit careful though because in the beginning I already know that my mesh goes through here so it still will push out fluids here and yeah sometimes it just takes a little while to make it look good but this is essentially how you create a separate model which the fluid can interact with so this looks great I want to give this a shade smooth here with W and what you want to do here is you just want to bump up the resolution division a little bit and then bake this whole animation so in cache you can choose a folder I'm just going to keep it at this for right now but you can choose a folder which you're going to bake in your simulation then you can choose a frame start and end so yeah if you wanted to make it a bit shorter then just do frame uh, till frame 100 and then here we have type replay 
I'll put this to all and now there's a new option here which is bake all so now you can literally bake everything and um, it will be saved in this folder so let me put this a bit up to 64 this will make the quality of the liquid a bit better and then I'm going to bake all this will take a little while and I'll see you when I'm done so as you guys can see we have a higher quality water here um, and yeah, that is essentially what you need to do, right? So I hope you guys learned from this. I would love to see what you're going to do with these techniques. And I see you guys in the next one.